Hey everybody, welcome to Japanese in 5, where we take just five minutes out of your day and we try to teach you some Japanese. All right, today we're going to be talking about two very similar sounding things, yaru nayo and yari nayo. And right away, within 10 seconds, I'm going to show you what they are. Right here, if we look at what Google Translate literally gives it to us, yaru nayo, which is the u form of the verb, plus na means don't do it. You can do this on the end of any verb. Miruna, don't look. Taberuna, don't eat. Ikuna, don't go. But all you have to do is change that final hiragana to e form and then plus nayo, and you have a very similar sounding thing, but the opposite meaning. Yari nayo, do it. A little bit more softer sounding. Yari nayo, go ahead. No, why don't you just do it? Okay. Now, if you're doing iru eru verbs, it's drop the ru. Okay. When you're doing a don't do, you keep the ru there, so it's taberu na. But if you're gonna say do eat it, go ahead eat. It's tabena. Tabena yo. Tabena yo. Go ahead and eat. Oh, you're. Oh no no. Go ahead. It's fine. Tabena yo. All right. So, luckily Google Translate helps us out. All right. Now moving on. Let's look at this YouTuber. Minna YouTube YouTube yari na yo. Hey everybody, do YouTube. Let's see what he says. はい、どうも、コージです。ということでね、サブチャンネル撮ってきたいと思います。今日 結構その all right, long story short, he says, you might think you can't do YouTube, but you can because you have more talent than you think you do. There, that's what he got out of that. All right, let's move to the next one. This guy says, zettai ni yaru na. Definitely don't do it. Now you're gonna see zettai in front of a na for the negative side quite often. Zettai ni yaru na, definitely don't do it. Aite no umeo juppu mitsumeru to mayaku koka. If you look at your partner's eyes for 10 minutes, uh, it'll be like cocaine. Let's see a little bit of this video here. <laughs> so apparently you'll hallucinate if you look at someone's eyes for 10 minutes. And I already watched this video just because it's funny. Uh, let's just watch a little bit here. ない。じゃあこれ笑ってたらさ、また<笑><笑> right, now he's going to do that chin thing many many times. Which leads us to the next word. I did not, at the very end, I want you to see this word that he says right here. Nah. Looking for this word. <laughs> Alright, so the punchline is nothing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. We, we, we've, we've hit our limit. We're gonna, we're gonna go double time on this one. All right, double time, second round, because I was talking too much. This word that we learned here, random word that we're learning, totally not important, but you might see it, is shakureru. 
He says, Shakurete Mieru. I never heard that word before. So I looked it up. Here's what we got from gshow.org. To have an underbite. It looks like the person has an underbite if you look at them for too long. He kept doing the the underbite thing and or protruding chin. So that was kind of funny, I thought. You never know what you're going to learn watching a YouTube video. All right, moving on. Uh, let's look at a couple tweets here. So right here we have, Now often, there is not going to be a yo after the strong, don't do something. It's very strong to say, taberuna, don't eat, okay? But taberuna, it makes it a little bit more soft sounding. Taberuna, very strong, all right? Now, uh, that is the negative one, and we know that because it's u form plus na. We could look at another one here where it's tabenayo, right? So, kurasushi de skina mono tabenayo. Ino yatta ikura tamago hambag choko keki. Sore dake de ino, kekyoku kore de manzoku datta so de. So, this is obviously their child right here. And they went to a place called kurasushi and they said, hey, eat anything you want to eat. Skina tabemono. Or skina mono, sorry. Tabenayo. Eat what you want to eat. Ino yatta. Really? Is it okay? Yay. Okay. Ikura is uh, salmon eggs, tamago egg. Hambagu is uh, like meatloaf, but they call it hambagu. It's like Salisbury steak. Uh, and choco keiki. Sore dake de ino, is that all you want? In the end, kore dake de manzoku datta so desu. That's all he wanted. He was satisfied with that. <clears throat> Running out of voice. All right, moving on. I want to show you one uh, confusing thing that is also uh, taberu na, but it's different. Yoku taberu na. This is, oh man, she eats a lot or I eat a lot. Okay, this is not a don't do it. When you're referring to somebody but not making a command, it just means, wow, you eat a lot. Okay, uh, so if someone goes to Japan, twice a month, uh, that you could say, oh, yoku iku na. Wow, you really go a lot, often, for yoku, okay? All right, uh, and here it's yoku meaning uh, like uh, a lot, more like a lot, often, yoku. Not too important, but if you see the squiggly after the na, it's definitely not a command. That's always a word, taberu na. But it doesn't mean you have to have the squiggly to make it into this, wow, you eat a lot, okay? It's just... Proof that Japanese is trying to kill you. And one more of those. Isho ni tabe saseta ho ga yoku taberu na. Okay? So, uh, when I let them eat together, they eat a lot more. Okay? So, it's like na as replacement of ne here. All right. That's it, guys. Japanese in five. Almost five. Yeah. Japanese in about eight minutes. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye-bye. Bonus for those of you that stuck around. All right, there is a story that inspired this particular video, this particular grammar, is something that we've never taught before. We've taught the negative form of don't do doing u form plus na, but we've never taught the e form plus na, which is basically the must form. If you just remove the must off of it, you can make it out of any verb. Okay, now here's the story. One of you guys from Discord told me this funny story because I asked you guys before to tell me some of the mistakes that you have made and what they have turned into. And I thought, wow, this particular mistake could turn into marriage and a baby, okay? And here's what happened. A guy was on Hello Talk and he was reading some girl's moment. So on Hello Talk, which is an app where you can talk to Japanese people, you can post moments where you talk to everybody and then people can read that moment and respond to you. And one of the girls said, Oh, I'm so tired. And she was complaining about being tired. And <clears throat> this guy said to her in Japanese, Watashi mo tsukareteru, or something to that effect. I'm also tired. Then she said to him, Nenayo. Nenayo. Now we now know that that means go to sleep. But he thought it was Nerunayo. He had not learned that if you don't have the U form plus na, that it was positive. Okay. So he then responds to her and says, um, why do you want me to not sleep? He thought she was saying, don't sleep. He thought she was being a little bit flirtatious, which she was not. Okay. 
So then he starts talking with her. He says, you know, why did you want me to go, uh, not go to sleep? But she doesn't understand, like, why he's saying that. She doesn't understand the mistake. And now, like, 10 days has passed. He's talking to her for, like, four or five hours a day. And he just told me when they go to Japan, when he goes to Japan, they're going to meet up. And I'm just saying that equals babies. So it's super important that you make mistakes. You never know what that mistake is going to deliver. It might even deliver a baby. Thanks for watching. But oh, hey, watch these videos too. These are probably interesting. And guys, please subscribe. But more importantly, hit the like button. I, I make these videos only so you hit the like button. That's it. It's the only reason I make them. And for your comments. So tell me what mistakes you've made or how this verb, how this grammar has helped you or hurt you. Thank you. Bye.